We continue with the celebration, folks. Put your hands together and welcome Atiba and Nubia Williams. Unapologetically black. A man of the people. A great showman. An exuberant spirit. An enormous heart of boundless love. A man of the spirit. A loving husband. A loving father. An international advocate of pan. What is a pan man? That is a pan man. What is a pan man? That is a Ken Professor Fillmore, an icon of pan, son and father of Fon Clay. Having grown up in a musical family, I was always a person greatly moved by music. My father made my first steel pan, a low tenor with the F sharp in the middle. Coincidentally, the same style Professor used to play. I first met Professor as a student attending secondary school. He embraced and encouraged me in those early days as a fellow musician. When I moved on to secondary school, Pleasantville Senior Comprehensive School, to pursue my A-levels, we met again. This was his community school. He adopted this school, regularly lending his services to our steel band and the wider community. Professor would light up at the sight of the band. He was always willing to give guidance lend his assistance and provide leadership wherever needed, whenever needed. Professor trained, arranged and took the band to many music festivals and competitions. This was my renaissance experience. This was in a time of Michan, Louis Regis and Roll Amy. The Wonder Years. Professor nurtured many brilliant musicians who would go on to be world-class performers, arrangers, and panists. Darren Shepard, Curtis Sleepy Marcel, Wentworth, Webb, and Ollie Webbs, Joseph Reed, Chiny, Liam Teague, Liam Teague. That is how we know him. Roger Charles, Schwab Ramsey, Kevin Philbert, and many, many, many more. When I needed a pan to perform as a soloist, Professor would volunteer for years 
to loan me his personal steel pan. Imagine that. Imagine that. A pan man lending somebody their personal beloved instrument. Who does that? Professor did that. Professor did that. Professor did that. Who did that? Ken Professor Fillmore did that. That was Professor. His most prominent characteristic was his enthusiastic love, which seemed to just pour out of him spontaneously. He was never selfish with his time, his talent, or his treasure. Never asking or expecting a favor in return. He was always an example of generosity and love. As we remember and celebrate his life, we vow to honor the heroes of our past, preserve our present, and prioritize our future. Play eternally with the angels. Ken Professor Fillmore, the world you left behind will cherish you forever. Thank you.